So we had a whole lot of uh, situations and problems regarding arithmetic progressions. But there is one very important thing I would like to remind you again how we can consider with it a number of sums, a series of sums based on this concept that is how can we assume numbers, consecutive terms of an AP, consecutive terms of an AP, whether they are odd number of consecutive terms or even number of consecutive terms. So just would like to reverse, suppose it is three consecutive terms of an AP have to be taken. Then we take them as a minus d, a, a plus d. If it is five consecutive terms of an AP, what do we take them? Whenever it is an odd number, five, three consecutive terms, we just have to keep the difference as d. So we move one ahead before this, which is going to be d less, that is a minus 2d, a minus d then a, a plus d, and then a plus 2d. And we have hence a minus 2d, a minus d, a, a plus d, a plus 2d. Suppose it is seven consecutive terms. What do we take them as? We just have to further reduce by d. So that is going to be a minus 3d, a minus 2d, a minus d, a a plus d and a plus 2d and so on and so forth. This will come in very handy because most of these questions will be based on divide 375 into 4 parts or 5 parts which are in AP which means that suppose it's 5 parts all these add up and give 370 or whatever we have found and since we conveniently arrange these terms in such a way that the d terms get cancelled and you get the value of a. But suppose we have say um, we have four consecutive terms four consecutive terms in that case we keep the difference as 2d so we start with a minus 3d then 2d more than this that is a minus d then further 2d more than this that is a plus d and then further 2d more than this a plus Suppose it is six consecutive terms, it will be a minus 5d, a minus 3d, a minus d, a plus d, a plus 3d, and a plus 5. So accordingly, we take the numbers. This will come in very handy whenever we have to do problems based on two or three conditions that have been given. So this is something students have to remember. We'll come across a similar situation in case of geometric progression. Then what do we take them as? We should see.